All right, listen up, y'all. To my new DD graduates. I apologize because it's loud, y'all, but I'm still at work right now, but I'm on break. But I told everybody I would, I would make another video to help out real fast. So I'm gonna take my break to actually tell, tell everybody something. This is GED math tips. This is what you wanna do. If you're trying to figure out a predominant way to study for math, this is what I did. Now, mind you, I made a 145, y'all, so I just hit the couple. My goal is to hope that everybody gets past the 145, all right? So, here's what I did. Log on to GED.com, figure out what you need help with. Yes, I had the GED math book, the, one of the new ones that they came out with, but it didn't help me as much because I'm one of the people that you have to sit down and teach it in front of me. Like, I have to be at, uh, either a desk with somebody showing me visually or I just have to hear it. I just can't pick up a book and I'm not like that. I'm not wired like that, at least not yet. And um, I'm dropping these nuggets on y'all because I'm going into the army soon. And um, that's why I wanted to hurry up. And I'm pretty sure everybody wants to move on with their life as well. So here we go. Log on to the GED website. Figure out what it is that you are lacking in math. And if, it's, if it bothers you that you are missing a whole lot of stuff, only write down probably five key notes in fractions or uh, decimals or different things like that that you're missing. Write those particular things down. Here's what helps me the most. I log on YouTube and I look up whatever it is that I'm lacking in math. I know the teachers give you Khan Academy. They might give you um, a bunch of other websites to do. But again, I still need something to look at. And while I'll go on to YouTube, type it in whatever you are lacking for math and study that consistently to the point where you can solve a problem. Most of these uh, tests have a, uh, most of the people on YouTube have, when they're helping you do something, they give you a second to actually solve a problem by yourself. They'll tell you to pause the video. And to me, those are the best ones because you're giving me a general idea. Get you a folder, y'all. Step two, get you a folder composition but whatever you want to do that's going to help you um with your notes or be more organized that's that's number three key 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 element for number three is be more organized you're not trying to prove to nobody else you can do it you're trying to prove to yourself that you can do this especially if you got one more test left in this math you can do this with ease okay like i told somebody else the universe is in your favor you can do this with ease and i just graduated this year y'all i was supposed to graduate in 09 and i'm not ashamed i'm not embarrassed you know what i mean because it's a lot of people that lose self-confidence when they go back to school for a gd I'm not assuming that you're smart enough not thinking that you're good enough to do it but the, the main point is it's possible okay so go to website get what you need to know off the website write it down and like i said if you need five points at a time is what you're lacking write that down Go to YouTube, look it up, type exactly in that what you're lacking, okay? Get you a composition book, label it math study guide or whatever you feel better with doing that with. If you've passed any test, like I said in my last video, if you pass any test whatsoever, take a screenshot of that passing score on your mobile phone, make it your wallpaper. Again, seeing it will help you visualize, I can pass always looking for some reason to me always looking at that color green help me visualize that's what i'm shooting for and like i said y'all i slid by with a 145 but to me that still wasn't good enough but the point is i made it and i really want everybody else to get 170s or whatever the case may be but again focus is the is the key and here's the biggest study thing to me that will help anybody i believe it can help anybody when you're studying naturally if you haven't studied something in a very long time you're gonna get sleepy when you get sleepy, if you're a guy, if you like playing video games, if you are a girl and you like scrolling through your phone, if you like if you like playing video games, do the main thing you love to do. If it's talking on the phone, if it's being on your phone, do that. Take like a 15 to 20 minute break and do that because you're resetting your mind. Here's why I say that. Every time I studied math, I knew for a fact I was never truly good in math in high school. So what I would do is I would take my phone put it down for a minute, put my books down for a second. I love video games. So I would pick up my Xbox or whatever the case may be. And I would sit and play it for a minute. Cause while you're zoning out, like going off and going to sleep, when you start studying, that's the, that's the time right there. You pick up something that you know, keeps you alert. Think about this, whatever you can do for hours and hours at a time without being distracted. I could play a video game for hours and hours at a time and nothing go wrong. I could just sit there. 
So find you something like that. Because you're, all you're doing is restarting your brain. If I pick up a controller, you know, for a fact I'm playing a game, my, my whole sensors are going to wake back up. Everything in me is going to rise back up. So it puts me back on start. Like I'm starting like fresh over. You got your notes right beside you. Again, keep your phone on, keep your scores right in front of you on your phone. Make that score that you pass your wallpaper so you can look at it. I'm telling you, you're absorbing green. Every time you see it, you're looking at green, y'all. This is just some simple study tips. I promise you it'll make a big difference. Write down what you're missing. Go on YouTube, look it up. Have you a composition book to write it down in. When you finish all of that, watch how your score improves. And if you got to take two or three practice tests, if you got a math test coming up, especially some people that you got a math test coming up, take two or three practice tests or whatever. It does not matter. Biggest thing else, this, this is my last point right here before I go. I got to clock back in. So my, my last point, whatever you're doing right now more than studying, it ain't that important. I promise you it's not that important. If you doing anything else, going out, being out, hanging out, whatever you're doing, I guarantee y'all it's not that important because everybody else, they freaking got that diploma. They can do stuff that, you know what I'm saying, that everybody keep telling you that you can't do. They got this freaking thing over you or whatever that, oh, because you don't have a diploma, we can't let you in or you can't be a part of this. If you really got plans, y'all, to do something to change the world, first of all, let's get the small, let's, let's get the small stuff out of the way. Let's get, let's get this one piece of paper. All right, my next videos, I'm gonna upload a, a video of all of my scores so everybody can see what I made. Like I said, I wasn't the smartest, but I put in time and effort. And I mean, from like studying from when I get off work at three in the afternoon to probably three o'clock in the morning. Cause first of all, where, I, where you are, think about that, where you are, it's not always where you're gonna be at. That's not where you're gonna end up at. I don't care if you make 725 an hour right now. You start small. And starting small means passing this simple test. All right, don't let math scare you because you're unfamiliar with it. Take time with it, focus. Jot down your notes, review your notes. Also, set alarms. Again, I said this in my last video. Set alarms on your phone daily when you're at home and you're not at work or you're not at school. Set alarms on your phone to remind you to open your books back up or open your, your study guide back up and look over it constantly, constantly, constantly. Think about trying to be the smartest person in class, not to impress anybody, but to impress yourself, all right? I'm going to leave y'all with that note. Oh, and I'm going to tell you one more thing. I'm going to leave you one with this last nugget, y'all. This one person helped me the most because if you're trying to do something like this, you need to listen to something that's going to give you the same vibe that you're trying to put off, okay? The guy's name is Eric Thomas. He's a motivational speaker. Look him up, okay? Look up a guy named Eric Thomas if you don't know who he is. I guarantee you it'll help you even more because he's trying to say what you're trying to do. That's all you need. Control what you watch, control what you hear. That the only thing you hear and you watch be the only thing that you want right now. Your number one goal is getting out of school. Hit me up if you got any questions about language arts, science, social studies, past all of that. All right? Good luck.